Hello, this is Dr. Gary Casberry, Program Director for Communication Media and Ethics at Mid-America Christian University class. Uh, this video is a preview for our final interviewee in uh, our Creating Social Media Presence and Cultural Movements class. We've had an excellent time developing our strategic interviewing skills in this course. And so finally, uh, we have a presenter that we want to close out with uh, that is, uh, that's going to give us one more round of experience to develop the hone those skills that we will be using in the future. So uh, the final candidate that I want to introduce to you all is uh, special because they are an alumnus that happens to work at MacU. All right, so we are going to get uh, even more connected with our MacU family. Um, and so our special guest for week five of the course is uh, is Whitney Knight. And Whitney uh, serves or rather works in our marketing department at New America Christian University in a number of capacities. We've tried to tell you folks that to go into public relations in a contemporary setting, it's not just a, a PR focus. It, it explodes in any given direction on any given task. All right, and so um, I'm just gonna run down a short list of the many, many more uh, uh, descriptions, job descriptions that Whitney helps satisfy here. Uh, and and in her professional career, um, so in her in some of her among among her current duties uh, with our marketing and advertising team, uh, Whitney writes press releases for MacU, the press release comma two eight zero three, writing uh, writing for mass and social media. Uh, she's a copywriter for the university, and and being a copywriter is can have some crossover with that other term we use content creator, but it has some distinctness as well. It's a little more, probably shorter bits of information, formal. It's definitely representing the the uh, the, the corporate side of things, the, the university front. So she, she serves as a copywriter, and this ranges from memos to email announcements, email marketing. This could be internal, this could be external. Maybe we're asking about her, all right, getting a feel for that. Um, this, this, these marketing campaigns, one that, that she highlighted specifically to me involves reaching out to college dropouts and particularly those that have dropped out uh, from this university, all right? So uh, we're not just allowing students to disappear into the night. We're here to help. We're here to uh, ideally push and, and, and promote and drive and assist you in the completion of your degree journey. Uh, and so we served in that capacity with being a communication liaison, trying to help draw students back into the fold, all right? And so I'm sure she'd be excited to talk about that a little bit. Uh, she has helped develop or cultivate MacU's social media growth, all right? And so with most organizations, <laughs> you might find um, a kind of a, a growth, you know, growth isn't a steady incline. Sometimes there are these, the more natural is ebbs and flows. And so she has been behind the scenes trying to help increase social media presence for MacQ. But we can ask her, what is that about? What does that mean? What does that entail? Uh, describe that process. What does it look like? Uh, get creative. And as you all know, get competitive because we want to ask unique, original, creative, thought-provoking questions. But we also don't want to ask the, the types of general or broad questions that, that, that are the first thing that everyone thinks of. All right. So dig deep for those questions. <coughs> Whitney has also uh, and also continues to contribute to a quarterly magazine that the university puts out. All right, and this this uh, the Mac U uh, magazine, the Mid American, if I'm remembering correctly, has a reach of about fifteen thousand because it not only goes out to current students, alumni, uh, and so on, maybe fac faculty and staff members. Um, but it goes out to a lot of the partnership organizations, right? 
the churches that help sponsor the university that may have ties, all right? Uh, tie, ties not only through the school of ministry, but ties in other ways. Um, and so there's a quarterly magazine that she has some involvement in. And then it, it was worth mentioning, she uh, she's, a, she's an award-winning, all right, young professional. And she has some awards from the OPA, I believe, but I'll, uh, someone will have to fact check me on this. The Oklahoma Press Association, uh, during her time as an up, up and coming investigative uh, journalist. Um, and so, prior to graduating with a degree in <clears throat> communication from MACU, uh, Whitney uh, uh, followed a career path, or rather, I'm sorry, degree path in, in journalism at uh, OCCC, Oklahoma City Community College, which uh, uh, always offers some strong, strong, strong courses there, right? Uh, not second tier stuff. Uh, great people working at that at that uh, college as well. So Whitney Knight, our fifth uh, and final interview subject for the creating social media presence and cultural movements. Uh, look forward to your questions for Whitney. Remember, we're spending two rounds. You <coughs> come up with your own rough draft. Just spit them out, and then take the time after you submitted that to the first Dropbox. Polish them up. All right, and I do believe they both go in the same Dropbox in week five because in week five, we also have a, a brief reflection essay on the course, as well as our interviewee synthesis paper. Uh, you do not have to include Whitney's uh, interview in your synthesis paper because it uh, it is uh, we won't execute the interview until the day that the synthesis paper is due. All right, so that's all right. I look forward to our final engagement together in this exercise in this interview series and enjoyed the asynchronous interview series with us uh hope we've learned even from the challenges right recognize that's what it's like in the real world we had some speakers that needed to change their dates we had some speakers that that sort of pre-committed and then needed to uh sort of opt out okay and then when that happens we we got to scramble we got to do do what we can to fill those slots right? That's what you do. That's what the real world looks like. And then, of course, we had our intermediary period where I tried to make the most of it on my end. And obviously, you all have been working hard on your end as well. So hopefully a successful course uh, drawing to a close and look forward to the uh, your questions. I uh, can't wait for your week five questions uh, and to share those with our guest, Wayne Knight. So uh, for Dr. Gasperi, this is uh, Creating Social Media Presence Cultural Movements. Uh, sign off. All right. Thank you.